Hello and welcome to GBR. Finest day racing with the guys from the MRC in the GTT CC Season 20. Uh, this is the Elite guys. Uh, this round eight, race two, last race of the season. Uh, as you can see, we are at Suzuka, uh, which was the mystery track. So no one knew what track it was going to be. Uh, all the different divisions had different tracks. So. The elite guys got given Suzuka, uh, so we'll see how the guys get on. We've obviously zero practice at this track. Well, there's about ten minutes between the first race and the second one, so uh, let's we'll see how they get on. Uh, starting in pole is Golden Brownie in the Mustang. In second we have. Judge in the VW Scirocco. In third place we have Muffin Man in the Aston Martin. In fourth place we have James in the Nissan GTR. In fifth place we have Midnight in the very shiny uh, Mazda 3. In sixth we have Baza in the Aston Martin in 7th place we have JRC in the Lambo in 8th place we have Brucey in another Aston Martin in ninth place in the race winner at high speed ring we have Phil in the Ferrari and in 10th place uh, we have Ruffo, uh, just where he didn't finish the first race, he started at the back for this one. So we'll get these guys underway uh, and at the end I will do a rundown of the final standings for the season. So obviously stay tuned at the end of the race to find out everyone's places. So let's get these guys underway for 30 minutes at Suzuka, right, lights out and away we go, Golden Brownie there off with a lightning start in the Mustang, James already up to second place, and Nissan seems to be good off the line as well, is he going to hold off Muffin Man, yes he is, it looks like he's going to hold off Muffin Man for that second space, judge in the two, fourth place now, we know that Scirocco is good, as a fighting with Midnight and JRC Midnight, just got it a bit too hot going into turn two and onto the grass and just he's going to drop to the back of the pack is midnight goose he's going to go around here the outside as well but at the front we've got golden brownie followed by james then we've got muffin man in third place already spreading out at the front at the moment buzz it up to fifth place at one spot JRC and Phil fighting behind as they come through Degna 2. JRC's just been able to hold off Phil there as they come up to the hairpin. Brucey getting it all sorts of sideways on the entry there and the exit. Lighting them rear tyres up on that Aston. That's allowed Midnight just to pull alongside and we know that speed of the Mazda 3 uh, when it gets going. Not much can hold on to it. He's just been able to get ahead. It has midnight for Brucey for that ninth spot. And yeah, what am I looking at? Yeah, judge has dropped into the clutches of Bazza. As they're coming down the straight up towards 130R. Everyone gets through JRC right up behind Vaza as they're coming through. Phil not too far behind either. And at the front it looked like James yeah, he's right up behind Golden Brownie. As they come around the last corner onto the start finish straight for the first time. So Golden Brownie leads it with James to the left hand side of him. And we're too wide into the first corner. Who's going to come out this to James just gets in front going for the cutback just 
decides to wait it out. Golden Valley did go a bit deep there, but held off in that first space. Muffin Man has now been able to catch up to the back of these two. A little bit of latency from Muffin Man. Golden Brownie's gone off. He's gone down to third place. What's happened with Golden Brownie there? Let's stay with him. See what he does here. Does he get a little bit too hot? Oh yeah, he just touches the grass, saves it, doesn't go off the track. But he's dropped out of first place down to third now. He's gonna have to fight his way back past Muffin Man and, and James get back to that first spot. The judge there holding off looks like the rest of the guys in fourth spot. And JRC's been able to just get on the inside of Bazza. But run it out very deep in through Degna one goes from the cutback gets a little bit of a tap from Phil uh, on the apex of Degna two and uh, now that's allowed midnight to close right up to the back of these guys. Ooh, a bit Brucey getting it sideways again coming out the hairpin. Not, it's, uh, it's a great feeling to do when you save it, but it's not the quickest, Brucey. It's allowed Rafa to get past Brucey now into ninth spot. Someone up ahead with a penalty. That was James. Oh, oh James has gone very deep. What's happening with James there? He's just like he's uh, he got to turn left, coming out of spoon. And you've got uh, Muffin Man behind. Oh, Muffin Man gives him a slight tap. Uh, the exit of Spoon. Um, it's going to drop James right to the back of the pack. It's going to allow. The Muffin Man is waiting up for James there. Golden Brownie had a penalty to serve, so that's going to allow Judge now to get into first spot. That's where he's going to want to be. Uh, in this last race, so Golden Brownie second, Baza in third place with Phil just behind him. JRC's just behind that midnight, then Raffo, then Brucey, and uh, then we've got James and Muffin Man, ninth and tenth. So, yeah, Muffin Man obviously made that little mistake of uh, that little love tap at a spoon on James, but did wait up. So, is uh, Bazo going to try and make a move on Golden Brownie, who's getting it all sorts of sideways? It's JRC, he's really struggling. He's on the racing mediums, I don't know what everyone else is on, softs. Yeah, everyone's on a mixture compound between softs and mediums. But yeah, so he's gone mediums on both front and rear. And just either hasn't warmed them up yet or really struggling for grip at the moment. Down to seventh place, he's got Brucey right behind him. And as they're coming around towards Degna 1. And Raffo is going to have a look and Midnight, no he's not, he's just going to pull back in behind. But uh, Bill has got past Buzzard for the third spot and he's going to have a look on Golden Brownie. He's going to be on the outside for the hairpin. Will he be able to get it around the outside? Doesn't look like he can, Golden Brownie's just going to be there. No, Phil's just been able to keep a wheel alongside Golden Brownie on the exit of the hairpin. And move up to second spot for Phil. So started in ninth, up to second now. He's got a good couple of seconds to try and catch up to Judge in first spot. Golden Brownie into third. Bazza fourth place. Still stuck behind Golden Brownie. Pretty much a uh, moving roadblock at the moment is Golden Brownie. He's got all these guys behind him just trying to fight their way past him. In fifth, Rafo sixth. Is Bazza going to look for it? No, he's not. He's going to just tuck in through JRC in seventh. He's a little bit away from Brucey. And James and the Muffin Man in ninth and tenth at the moment. But this is where the action is between second and JRC in seventh at the moment. And these guys all nose to tail. Uh, they come across the line to start lap four. Who is anyone going to make the move? No, they're not. They're all just going to stay in line as they come through the first two corners. 
and into the S's section they go. Everyone just trying to keep it nice and clean. See, so not much practice on this lap uh, track for this race. It's been not too bad for the first couple of laps, which is good to see. Now we come out of the S's now and into Degna 1 and Degna 2. Raffo and JRC there fighting as they go in. JRC looks like he's trying for the cutback, but just not been able to do it. Raffo got a good enough drive coming out, but Midnight's been able to get past Bazza out of Degna 2 up towards the hairpin. So I don't know if Bazza had a little bit of a tail, uh, slide coming out. And what's happening between Raffo and JRC? trying to fight for the same piece of tarmac. JRC right on the inside. Good Raffo. Tiny little tap there. Raffo gets it all sorts of sideways and JRC's got nowhere to go. Ends up in the wall. Unlucky there for JRC. Just caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. Tucked him back down to 8th place now. And James and Muffin Man are fighting for this ninth spot. And through the same corner, a couple of laps go. But there's uh, no contact this time round. But James has already worn that front right tyre quite a bit. I don't know if that was just from when he went off. Uh, worn out that tyre a bit too much. But going up, it looks like Phil has been able to catch that lead up to judge so is this going to be a change of the lead as they come down the start finish straight and into turn one i think that shirocco has got some speed um, to hopefully keep ahead of phil yes he has so phil's not able to get up, up and alongside as they come through turn one and two I do feel that what feels on the softs, both front and rear, and the judges on the mediums on the front. So he's going to slow, be a bit slower off the uh, exit of corners, not going to carry much speed through them. Phil is just looking for a way by the looks of it. And there he is, goes up the inside of the left hander out of the S's and gets past judge as they come towards Degna 1. Phil's done it, he's moved up to first spot, so well, will Phil just try and preserve his tyres now that he's in the lead? Golden Brownie there in third, now he's not in, he's in fourth place. He's got a bit wide coming out of Degna too, and he's lost his space to Midnight and Bazza now. And he's got Brucey right behind him, coming through the hairpin. There we go, Brucey, that's a bit better exit. Don't, not lighting up the, uh, the rear tyres as much. And it looks like Raffo and Muffin Man have both gone to the pits. So it's just left James now fighting eighth place by himself. JLC in seventh. And it looks like he is catching up to Brucey ahead. He's got a half second penalty. But Brucey's going to be fighting with Golden Brownie as they come to 130R. And it's like Bazza is as well with Midnight No, but Brucey gets, gets a good sling stop there with the slipstream. Gets up to fifth spot before 130R even happens. So Brucey in fifth for two. Sparkle guys in fourth and fifth at the moment. It looked like Brucey, Brucey did get a half second penalty there through the chicane. We just ran it a little bit too hot. Bazza there in fourth. Is he going to have a look up the inside of Midnight? Looks like he is. As they're coming through turn one. Gets it nicely stopped. Keeps it nice and tight. Gets up to third spot now is Bazza. Just ahead of Midnight. What's Midnight tyres? They're both on the same tyres as well. So it doesn't look like it was a tyre advantage for Bazza being on the softs. I'm just going to have that extra grip through turn one. 
but by the looks of it Phil has already checked out uh, from Judge it was at 1.4 seconds that lap round and he only overtook him at that spot just coming into there so absolutely flying is Phil Bazza there in third place looks like he's going to be getting harassed from midnight for quite some time he's not going to let it drop there's midnight obviously no racing him he's a fairly fair but firm driver once he's been overtaken he will keep fighting to get that spot back Buzz, uh, Brucey there in fifth place he's got this half second penalty will that drop him back behind Golden Brownie he's got a bit of a gap at the moment and JRC catching up to the back end of these two as well uh, these four really JRC is coming so let's have a look to see if Golden Brownie can get back past Brucey Obviously, he serves this penalty. Looks like Brucey yeah, is just lifting off to let Golden Brownie through. And obviously, that's going to allow JRC to just close that gap up even more to the back of these two, fighting for this fifth spot. So now we've got a three way fight for fifth. Come on, cameraman, wake up. Brucey, oh, he's got another half second penalty, he's just served one, he's just picked up another one, probably for the same mistake through the chicane. Brucey just lets off a little bit there, and just to let JRC through. JRC right up to the back end of Golden Brownie straight away. And we've got a fight there between Bazza and Midnight through turn three into the S's action between these five guys through the S's for the seventh time and the seventh midnight is he's trying to get that third spot back off Bazza see if he can uh, use the Mazda speed down the main straight or the back straight towards the 130R actually you've got the straight towards Spoon that he'll be able to totally catch up to him and then hopefully get the drive out and maybe use the speed of that Mazda. But there's Phil in first, Judge in second, Buzzer third, Midnight four, Golden Brownie fifth, JRC sixth, Brucey in seventh place, and here comes James in eighth place. Is James catching up? He's doing about the same lap times, but his front fight is already over halfway. And we haven't even done 15 minutes of racing, so it looks like James might have to pit. Uh, oh, a new set of softs by the looks of it. He did have the fastest lap at one point. So maybe with uh, lighter fuel and a fresh set of softs, he'd be able to uh, nick that fastest lap from JRC. Back to the front as we go through the chicane. Once again, followed fairly closely by Judge Midnight. He's got ahead of Bazza for that third spot. Golden Brownie's pulled a bit of a gap over JRC, and Brucey obviously served that half second penalty, but be able to keep with JRC. So he's still in that slipstream of the Lambo ahead. Yeah, James does come into the pit now. He's had enough of them, them soft tyres. Probably going to put another set of softs on to the end of the race. So will Bazza now try and fight back for that third spot on the podium. And just over halfway, so it could happen. Plenty of possibilities still remain for this race. Will the tyres? Tyres seem to be okay. Feels on the softs, but making them last, the Ferrari is good on its tyres just looking at the tyres as I flick through James on the nice fresh set of softs nice hot and sticky giving all the grip he needs but the battle is for third spot once again we had this for the first race and it was the battle in the third and we should have James in it as well but we have Midnight and Bazaar 
fighting for it at the moment are they are dropping golden um, slightly so <coughs> it will just be a two horse race for third as we go JLC still got Brucey behind him and golden in front but the fastest lap of the race at the moment of a 2 minute 9, 6, 9, 7 um, so he's definitely got the pace when he's in clean air obviously when you're having to fight for every position obviously all these guys are fairly hard to overtake them and give over as easily as you would think that's out there, it looks like he's got good drive coming out of the chicane right under that wing of midnight will he try and emulate the same move again he done a couple of laps ago looks like he will ball to the right hand side he's got a long level with midnight looks like Basil is he going to get it done again looks like he is fantastic racing from them two nice and clean because it's not the easiest of corners that one you can get it wrong and end up smashing the other guy off the track Bazza now back up to third spot as they've gone through the S's for just the ninth time of asking absolutely flown through nine laps of so, oh, somehow but now well midnight now trying to fight back it once again to get that third spot from Baza. It looks like with these guys fighting, it's allowing these three behind to uh, slowly catch up to the rear end of midnight. And JLC's gone for the move up the inside of Golden Brownie through the hairpin. JLC's made that work an absolute treat. And Golden Brownie just didn't turn in quick enough. And JLC saw the opportunity and took it it with both hands and away he goes and he's got to try and catch up to the rear end of midnight which is only about a second or so between JFC and midnight we go to judge there in second place consistent laps getting quicker but uh, the man at the moment at the is Phil uh, in the uh, 209s for three laps in a row? Will this one be a 209 as well? Just misses out 210. So, absolutely flying at the moment in that Ferrari is Phil. Just there, just dipping into the 211s. As I've done a 210, so got two temps up a little bit there. Midnight. 2.11.5 so I see a 2.9.8 Golden with a 2.11.4 Brucey with a 2.10.9 and James this is his first flying lap after he came out the pits see if he's been able to use them softs I don't think he's going to get it this time round no he's gone over the 2 minute 9 mark but it looks like he had a penalty because it came up as a red lap. Uh, no, nope. don't know what this game's doing there. So yeah, see if James can do a purple lap this time round. I don't think Phil's going to be doing any more purple laps. Not with the tyre wear that he's got, but should be enough to last him to the end of the race. Buzz are there, still holding off midnight. But JRC is catching up, he's now right behind midnight. Will he try and make a move as they come towards 130R in a couple of straights time? You know, the speed of that Lambo isn't slow, but obviously that Mazda is isn't a slouch either. And as they come round spoon onto the back straight. JLC right behind midnight now, so will we have a look as they come down, or will he make the move into the chicane? Just can't get up close to that Mazda. It's just pulling away from JRC 
even though JRC is getting the slipstream. JRC is going to the outside as they come into the chicane. That's going to leave him on the inside for the left hander. Midnight's been given room from JRC as they come through. But JRC up to fourth spot. A great move that. Uh, as they come on to lap 11, but Midnight's fighting back. He's not going to let JRC get into his rhythm. No, J Midnight just backs out. Thinks better of it. Doesn't want to try and uh, force an issue between the two guys when the third spot's only just in front of them. Of that bright orange uh, Aston Martin. Oh, Bazza. Come through, yes, his golden run has been overtaken by Brucey now. So, swap four positions for sixth and seventh. Yeah, it looks like James is struggling to uh, get close to the fastest lap at the moment that is set by JRC. Midnight's just dropped off the back of oh, the man in question. JRC will he get up to the rear end of oh, Buzzer? We've got seven minutes of racing to go, so I think we've got another three and a half laps. And that will be it for this race and the season. It's been a great season to be a part of six divisions uh, with not as many numbers as we would like but still a great season of racing to be had everyone's been nice and fair hardly any incidents have been had we've had some great overtakes and could we be looking at another overtake for JRC we've had a few incidents of other guys uh, that have like, left the race and JRC gets up into third place, just gets past Bazza before 130R. But Bazza's fighting back as they come down towards the chicane, but he's going to be on the outside for the right hander. And that has put JRC into third space now. Oh, he's got a half second penalty. That's not going to be good for him. He's going to have a lap of his life to gain uh, enough distance between him and Bazza. But Bazza's again fighting back as they come down towards turn one. Bazza's not giving this fight up for that third spot. Now JRC's just been able to hold off into turn one. So as I said, JRC's got a really cool just pull the stops out. So when he comes to serve that half second penalty, he doesn't lose that spot to Bazza because there's only a couple laps of the race left to go. It's going to be hard to uh, fight it. Uh, James has come into the pit again, so he's had enough of them soft tyres. He wants another set of softs to give him a better chance of the fastest lap. But Baza there holding off midnight in fourth place. Uh, Brucey there in sixth. Golden Brownie in seventh place. And James there in eighth, just coming in. Is it's incredible on its tyres, it's just like burns for him so quickly. And yet uh, Phil, he's been on a set of softs and he's only halfway worn with only four and a half minutes left of the race to go. So, yeah, obviously some, there's obviously something different between uh, Phil and James's driving style. It could just be the car itself. Uh, Judge has done really well there. Oh, he's on the medium and the softs, but... Mitch Rocco just seems to have been absolute diamond for Judge this season. But here it is, here's JRC. He's just got on the grass there, it's going to slow him down a tiny bit as we come up towards the penalty zone. Will he drop a position to Bazza? I don't think he will. Bazza's going to get very close to him as they come to 130R. But Bazza's just not been able to uh, gain the advantage and get past back past JRC so now JRC's got two laps to go I would say and just to hold off Bazza for that last spot on the podium Bazza in fourth midnight in fifth he's not giving up the fight to Bazza at the moment but Brucey is closing in 
Dolphins are decent lap times for Rossi as well. Uh, nearly as fast as up of the race for himself last time round. Got him only there in seventh place. A bit of a half second penalty as well. But the uh, I think mediums. Could have gone on softs for Golden Brownie, same as Brucey. Uh, Midnight might have struggled a bit if he had gone to softs on that front right, but he's been caught up by Brucey for this fifth spot now. It's going to be a defence from Midnight. Oh, he's gone a bit deep, and Brucey's been able to slip through into fifth spot now. So the team Sparkle back in fourth and fifth. In, and they're both obviously in the Athens, so little team orders come along, uh, come in order here of keeping Bazza ahead of Brucey, or will they say let them fight? We'll find out. We've only just over a lap to go. JRC's yeah, been able to just cut away a little bit there from Bazza uh, on this lap. I think it could just be a little bit of tyre wear. There's uh, JRC's got uh, only a little bit more tyres available and uh, Bazaar has very similar for Brucey and Bazaar obviously as we get to bed next tyres and they are pretty well warm on that front right um, and they're probably more warm on the front left as well than, than uh, Brucey's Golden Brownie who's fairly even tyre wear all over what's James's lap time this is his first flying lap from as he's gone in the pit, which could be his, no, it won't be his last. He'll get on to lap 14, uh, the same as everyone else. As they have, looks like they've all started their final laps now. Look, Phil has had a pretty dominant race from uh, once he's got into first, that's it. He's not really looked back. The judge, there, he's had a Good race as well. Pretty consistent lap times. Dropped off what six tenths in five lap, four laps, five laps um, from lap nine to lap thirteen. So yeah, decent laps from Judge there. Obviously, he's had had issues at the beginning of the race, but he's pulled himself back to third spot at the moment. He's pulled a bit of a gap now over Brute there, uh, Bazza. In four, looks like Brucey's not been able to uh, catch that gap up to Bazza for them to have a sparkle fight at the end of the race. And Midnight's just dropped off the back. Could be the tire wear kicking in for Midnight. In sixth place, Golden Brownie in seventh as well. Just struggled for uh, pace uh, at this rate, this lap, this lap, this track. James 2.10 dead, he's got one more chance of getting that final, that fastest lap. On the final lap he's got again four tenths somewhere. It will go with Phil because everyone seems to be just far enough apart for the last couple of corners. See him come round and win both races at, for round eight. Maybe comes around the last corner. Phil will come across the line to finish in first place. Well done, Phil. Judge will come home to finish in second place. Just ahead of JRC. JRC's caught him up a bit there to finish in third. Bazza will come along in fourth. And Brucey will finish in fifth. Midnight will finish in sixth place. And Golden will finish in seventh place. And we'll stay with James for the last half a lap. And obviously if you've enjoyed the content, hit that like button. Consider subscribing. Um, obviously if I enjoy it. I enjoy doing the comms for obviously you guys to watch. So keep your eyes peeled because we've got the NASCAR series coming up soon. I'm not too sure on who's doing the commentary for that one yet. but. Uh, it is posted, obviously you can watch that one and be a laugh and then obviously then we've got the new seasons the Group 2s, the Group 3s and the GTCC will be back 
middle of next year. And James comes round to finish his race. Will we get the fastest lap? No, he won't. So James will finish in eighth place. I'll let this run so we get a starting grid again. There we go. And I will jump to this view um, and go through the championship order for the end of the season. Um, we had Robbie Hood on 35 points. Uh, in 12th place, we have this man here, James, he missed quite a few races, uh, but he finishes on 55 points in 11th. In 10th place, we have Mark, or Mutt, uh, as people know him as, uh, on 96 points. Uh, in 9th place, we have Muffin Man on 124 points in 8th place we have Raffo uh, on 126 only 2 points between Rob and Raffo in 7th place we have Midnight on 164 and in 6th place we have Golden Brownie on 167, so only 3 points between them and Midnight missed I think the first 2 rounds as well, so could have been higher up the table if he had uh, joined in the first couple of rounds. In 5th place we have Baza on 189 points. And in 4th place and the last promotion spot there's point Brucey on 197 points and in third place we had JRC on 218 points in second there's only two left we had Judge on 220 points so just two points between him and JRC uh, but the winner of the elite division was Phil on 230 points so only 12 points between the top three drivers at the end of the season which is incredible to see obviously that is the championship for and the rest of the season so, as I say, keep your eyes peeled for other series popping up in the MRC. And until then, see you next time. Bye-bye.